Hi guys, Timo here for a short video on the upcoming update or patch for Automobile Lista 2. As a little disclaimer, normally I'm not doing much or any of these news videos. I'd rather like to wait until the actual update and stuff is out, then have the, the bare facts and the new content as a basis. But this time I'd like to make a slight exception because I think what Razer or Renato in particular is talking about here reads much bigger than what its version number suggests. Let me put it this way, because after months of silence, now it's time for the release of version 1.5.3. Remember, currently we are on 1.505, so that will be only an increase by 0.025. But guys, this, this thing here reads much, much bigger. Of course, there's, well, the quality of life stuff like time trial leaderboards becoming active again. They have been off for quite a while. But then it starts with an announcement of a new DLC, which will be the historical track pack number two. Something I really cherish because as a sucker for classic stuff, it includes Barcelona 1991, the version of that year, Interlagos 91 and 93, as well as Montreal 1991, enabling us to become even more authentic with our recreations of races of, of this year or era. And these track updates or this historical track pack number two will be out for roughly $8. The big thing is, and I, I think this is going to come free for all users, is two new Formula One classes, namely the Formula High Tech Generation 1 and 2, implementing the cars of the Formula One 1992 and 1993 season into the game. The years of perhaps the most advanced Formula One cars ever allowed to use as much technology as was available at the time, including active suspension, traction control, even ABS and automatic gearbox. As a matter of fact, the McLaren is a licensed car, but it doesn't take much imagination to figure out what this one is supposed to be, as well as this yellow green one there in the background. Next up, it's the audio development. And um, thank you, Razer, for all the videos that you've put out the other day. These audio developments mainly regard the external sounds, like in replays or if you use external cameras. Nevertheless, something cool because normally we, we take good sounds for granted and only talk about them if they're bad. The physics overhaul has become a trademark, actually, of, of Automobile Lister 2 and Reza. And they're continuing on that stuff. I mean, don't want to get into the details here so much because the big one has been out already and that came with the 1.5 version, actually. So this seems to be more on the side of doing even more perfection. Wet weather racing. Yeah, guys. Uh, one more brief comment about that. You won't see much wet weather races on my channel and this is due to the fact that it hasn't been much fun so far. While the AI had tons of traction and grip, even on the wet parts of the track, I or we, the players, were always on the brink of losing it and struggling throughout, so it wasn't a fair competition, to say the least. Let's hope that this is changed now. And let's hope that a sentence like this proves to be true. AI development, oh yeah guys, for me as primarily a single player, this cannot be stressed enough and I think companies cannot put enough resources into making the AI even better. Don't get me wrong, it is already on a pretty cool level most of the time in AMS2, but what Renato is talking about here sounds pretty good as they have further looked into the AI tire wear and degradation, their racing behavior when attacked and when attacking the player. There have been some caveats, of course, still. And last but not least, the AI pit stop strategy. Remember guys, one or two years back, it was kind of a yeah disaster. It seemed completely arbitrary. It has already become quite reasonable what the AI does now, but of course, it still seems a bit strange in odds here and there. I'm really taking that stuff with a smile and hope that it's going to be even better. So all in all, this, I repeat, looks like 
a much bigger update than its version number suggests and Renato is clever and pretty cheeky to put that picture here at the end as we are all really waiting for Le Mans to come to AMS2 because that essentially is a track that has to be in any serious sim racing game. For me, of course, it is a thumbs up. Oh, giving even two. <laughs> nice to see. And I actually cannot wait to finally test it out, guys. Be sure to come back to my channel because I'm definitely going to do some deep dives into certain aspects of the new contents. For the time being, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Happy racing. Until the next one.